Hello, it's Doc Kyle once again. And tonight we're gonna discuss microtomy. So what is microtomy? So microtomy just simply means micro, meaning small, and tenyemian <laughs> in Greek, no, meaning to cut. So small cuts, small cuts of what, Doc? No, so small cuts of the tissue, so that we can think of it as a fillet. We fillet the tissue, and then we put it in a slide, so that we can see what's inside of the slide now so we can see the tissue we can see the cells and either determine if there is a malignancy or there is no malignancy so here so ano siya paborito na ako ni anime sa una no studio 23 ano siya kinchi ni mo anime final move niya no patay kayo ama ka kiro hero ni real meki Istorya hon pa yun niya na pag, sl pag slice niya niyan go sang dragon no buskin chain ah oh, siya no so like I said earlier so microtomy just simply means small cuts of the tissue so in thin sections so we have different types of microtomes the most common microtome that we use is the rotary microtome and it's um, rotary in a sense that there is a rotating um, flywheel that initiates or rather that actuates the movement of the block we'll see it later there's also the, the rocking microtome the base sledge microtome the sliding microtome and the more advanced microtomes the cryo microtome ultra microtome and laser microtome so the microtomes that I'm accustomed to is the rotary microtome and the cryo microtome. So this cryo microtome, we use this for frozen section biopsies. It's just a rotary microtome in which the atmosphere, in which uh, the environment, in which the tissue is exposed to the blade to make thin sections is sub-zero, negative 35, um, usually <laughs> negative 20 to something 35. So we have this ultra microtome to make very thin slices for electron microscopy. Remember electron microscopy, our, our target view or the things that we are going to look at is not the cells rather but more of the organelles. No? So it's more of a subcellular study rather than our regular light microscopy. Our laser microtome, I have yet to encounter this. So. I'm gonna show you a short video. Nesha si Sir Jude, no? Say hi sa Sir Jude! Pug Pugiboy na to na Pugiboy! Morning cutting guys, no? Kita mo na. Mo na siyang, mo na siyang paraffin block, no? Sa ito nga na, na di ang specimen, no? Mo na, ipakita ang blade, Sir Jody, ipakita ang blade. blade. Ah, kanaait ka, yun na siya. Oh. Feather, not feather light. Feather light na siya. Disposable blade na siya. Oh. Dagan kay Takay Dato, mong kahit ito din eh. Oh, na siya. Mo oh, na siya, shoutout kay Buskin Shin. <laughs> anad kayo. Anad kayo, anad kayo. Uh, Ato, yan eh. Asta nga na, ka na siya. Mo oh, siya, ginatawag trim sa guys, no? Ginatrim sa niya. Para ma-even ang surface of block, no? Anad kayo. Yeah. Brasan na yun. Ah. Wala na. Oh! Putsa! Oh, Tanggal! Tanggal. <laughs> Pulihan na po. Bago puli-puli. Tag-blade ni bro. Kay Rich ba yata? Ano na siya? Mone na yun. Magkuha na tag-ribbon na. Ano no? Ribbon. Ano siya? Oh. Mga tawag na to. Rotary. Kaya ako yung tuyok-tuyok ng flywheel. Oh, 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 tangin. Astang anada o oh. Astang anada o oh. Na ato man eh Tawin na Mo na itong flotation bath guys no Tawin na ah Nya Butangan na fish out dahil na ito Fish out At Ah Mo na siya Mo na siya Nya Mo na itong mga finished products guys no Mo na siya Nya nakalibel na sila Nakabali lang na siya Pero nakalibel na siya Nya before nato siya ibutang sa microtome, na na siya diya sa ice para even iyang temperature, no? Ato, mani. So, out na ko, out na ko, guys. Thank you, sa Sir, Sir Jude. Thank you. Ah! So, that was 
Sir Jude, no? my med tech, and he was cutting the specimen. He was doing microtomy, and as you can see, there was a fly loop, rotating flywheel. And the rotation of the flywheel causes the block to move up and down, forcing the specimen impregnated with the wax and in the block mismo to encounter the blade. So, and when it encounters the blade, a small part of it is filleted. No? There is a section. There is a section that is um, taken and then it's put in a flotation bath. The flotation bath is very important because it, number one, it reduces the tension within the tissue. It stretches the tissue so that it becomes flat. The flatter the tissue, the film uh, the section that is floating on the bath, the better it adheres to the slide. And apart from that, if there are no wrinkles within the section, the viewing is better in the microscope so we have a better um, view so we can diagnose it better what happens if there are a lot of wrinkles there are a lot of um, if the blade is dull what happens there's plenty artifacts and there are plenty um, spaces in which um, clear morphology of the tissue cannot be seen so we kind of wasted time so it it needs to be processed again until we get the ideal picture it's it's very it's the thing about um, histopathology is even though we have a designated time schedule we have like a lot of days for for fixation we have a lot of days for processing and reading always remember that a patient is still waiting so we try to save time in as much as possible so, so this is a rotary microscope like sir jude like how sir jude uh, showed you earlier so, so what happens when you cut it cut it and you do it continuously you will have a ribbon a ribbon is um what happens when subsequent sections attach together at the ends so the edges will fuse together and that becomes a ribbon so we have this there's the advantages of the rotary micros, uh, microtome so there's good quality thin sections and it's very heavy and stable and good tissue ribbon production easy to cut various types of tissue so no wonder it's the most common <laughs> microtome because number one it's consistent that's the that's the number one word i want to <laughs> remember for the rotary microtome it's consistent so if you expect to have this type of uh, section creation uh, section cutting today you can expect more or less that tomorrow it's still gonna be the same quality but the disadvantages are it's quite expensive because there's a lot of moving parts and there if there are a lot of moving parts it is a complicated machine if it's a complicated machine then it's there's more um, parts to create there's more parts to maintain it's quite expensive and unsuitable to cut large block um, because um, as, you, as you saw earlier the at block attachment for the rotary microtome is quite small so even though it's very consistent and it's very accurate but for that to produce those types of results ato lang dapat ang surface area sa imuhang block surface area should be just like that no? so the knife faces up so there may be dangerous tech um dangerous technical stuff so in my um when i was still a med tech i remember na nako yung mga classmates na nangasama dyan sila because we were using a uh, old type of rotary microtome and plant, um, some of them really got wounded because that blade is very sharp no so if you're wondering why why in our um in our facility in our laboratory we there are a lot of knives and we tend to shift um change the knife because our our mindset our principle the principle that my med med techs use is if you change the knives often so you don't for um 
less blunt gani sila the longer sila ma ma the, the longer they will become blunt so cut off that's the point because like i said consistency consistency is very important and for consistent section creating or ribbon making to happen you need to have a consistently sharp blade so that's it then this is the rocking microtome no naga rock sha no so also known as a cambridge microtome there's a rocking action no? <laughs> so there, there, the thing with this um microtome is um it's one of the oldest you rarely use this and the opposite um the ha what happens is the block it's the block that moves and the um the block moves not up and down but in an arc versus your rotary microtome which is linear up and down lang your um rotary microtome there is an arc because you can see there is a pivot no there's a pivot area so what are the advantages so it can do thin sections it's easy to operate and it's a uh, it's, it's low cost no because kita mo ato muan untuk an ana lang mo sya kanang unta ba kanang um so wala more flies <laughs> more flyers ba no <laughs> so um another thing to note every time you rotate the rotary microtome going back to the rotary microtome um apart from it going up and down the the block is also moving forward no so the block is also moving forward so after you sh after you shave uh after you shave this one part sh and then the block moves forward for you to shave a deeper section so it goes deeper and deeper no until until it eventually um consumes all the tissue which is something that um, medical technologists or histotechs are very wary of they really don't want to consume all the specimen okay problem na if example we have a second reading or we need that block to do immunohistochemistry or we send that out to the to manila or united states so we really need to be um careful or we really need to be kanang tipid no we need to be frugal in getting our ribbons but um it is part of the it is part of the preparation in microtomy that there really are some some parts na katong initial na trim you really need to do that mangud so that ma even jud iya hang surface so you really need to have an even surface before you can collect the sections to be floated to be put in a slide no look at so um disadvantages the tissue is curved and <laughs> the microtome does not provide a flat section well that's it that's to be expected because it moves on in an arc no versus our rotary microtome in which the block moves in a linear fashion as the microtome is of light weight <laughs> some vibration may occur um nakasuway na mo mag cut og cheese or or ana no imagine kung mag cut mo og cheese nya mag cut mo og cheese nya the earthquake nga tawo na to kung maka cut ka og cheese no so so kato so the next is a base sledge microtome um in the sledge microtome the block is fixed in a static position so this is one of the major differences between our rotary our rocking and the base ledge now the base ledge the block is in a static position and it is fixed within a steel cage so the microtome the knife slides to and fro the block so as you can see um, this is where the specimen lies no that's a steel cage and then the blade is over here like that up type gi apaka ka drawing oh, skills man and then this base will slide like that slide na siya no so it will slide forward and backward 
So, this microtome is best for large tissue or hard tissue because number one, the block is static. And if the block is static, then we have adequate control of it. And then the knife is moving. So the tissue sections are usually thick in the base ledge microtome because the block is static. We cannot control, you know, we cannot control the thin thinness of the section. So what are the advantages? So large tissue can be cut, large tissue sample can be cut, the mass microtome for ophthalmology and large neuropathology section. What are the dis dif disadvantages? Difficult to get a thin section and large slides are required because the whole additional specimen. No? So this is an error. This is a cryo. It's a cryo microtome. No, no, mali natutbutang, but this is a cryo microtome. I will show you a video later. Um, just think of a cryo microtome as a rotary microtome. That's your flywheel. But the everything happens inside a very cold environment within that. No? So I'll show you later. So the next one is the sliding microtome. And the sliding microtome, I have a video. Oh, no, no. Sliders. No, no, sliding microtome. Same with your base ledge. No? The, the block is uh, static and the knife moves but the knife um, is sliding over it's not a sledge like so think it think of it this way the sliding microtome is somewhat an evolution of the base ledge and large sections same with the base ledge the advantages are the same large sections can be cut and simpler and easy design for easy maintenance so the knife may glide in case of a hard tissue and may jump and it's a very long knife mongood because it's really um, designed for these big tissues no? so it's long knives are difficult to sharpen and then <laughs> the last the cryo microtome so this type of microtome is used for cutting tissue for the frozen section the sample is made hard in liquid nitrogen and cut by the microtome in a chamber that could contains liquid nitrogen so um, this is different because uh, this is um, there are different types of um, cryo micro uh, frozen freezing freezing microtomes no? cryo microtome and ours uses a freezing media rather than liquid nitrogen so what happens with frozen sections we use the temperature as the fixative, rapid fixative, in a sense that going back to my previous discussion about fixatives, we fix a piece of tissue in a certain time that inhibits all progression of all metabolic activities. So that's what happens you now when we force um, flash, flash freeze not on specimen. And apart from that, we are making it hard so that when we cut it with a blade um, we can produce sections and ribbons then we can have rapid diagnosis ba? so you're gonna ex uh, ask me Doc, nga naman di ay kung, kung inana lang po, um, in comparison to your usual H and E slides mong good production it usually takes mga 5 days 3, uh, uh, three days from gross to production of slide pag delay ka ng automated tissue processor if automated tissue processor maybe 24 hours but with a frozen section you can have a diagnosis of as early a uh, process slide as early as 15 minutes no after during the operation it's what we call an intra operative procedure so the surgeon takes a mass from the body and then sends it to histopath and then us, we do it, we do a frozen section rapid to diagnose whether it's malignant or benign. So what happens if malignant siya, then we call the surgeon, we inform him what's the result. And then the surgeon, then if example it's a breast mass, 
if it's malignant, we'll take the whole breast and then also take lymph nodes because that's part of how you stage malignancies. But if it's benign, if, if just a really benign mal, excuse me, uh, it's, if it's just a really benign mass, then tahi only I close, then leave it be. Or, katono, or pwede gihapon niya tanggal ng breast. That's the um, base, dependent on the surgeon no? because, so the purpose of the frozen section is to, is to dictate, uh, the, pur the pr purpose of the frozen section is to dictate whether, what's the next move in managing the patient you know? so example we can find lymphomas usually lymphomas we don't operate anymore if the mass is a lymphoma just use other types of med medication uh, management you know? radiotherapy chemotherapy so kato, that's the purpose of frozen section not to give um, the final final diagnosis you no know? because the final diagnosis is reserved for the HNE because even though the frozen section is quite rapid no, and very helpful, it is still lacking because the morphology of the cells and the tissues isn't as clear and as um, helpful <laughs> um, compared to your usual HNE slides. No? HNE processing, kind of fix you do formalin, na clear you do long process, and dehydrate, kato, kato na process. No? So, Going back, I'm gonna show you a, a video of a frozen section that we did. Anyhow, snow, mo ni si Dr. Cyril nato, do ko kaglawa so, mo nato ang pathologist. <laughs> so, this is the specimen. Then, kita nato diha, those are the specimen chucks. And this is our freezing media no this will give the interface between the be the interface between the freezing uh, the, the chucks and the tissue they will also the freezing media also facilitates the even freezing of the tissue no? so ta naga baking diha mo na siya butang na ato diha puti man siya ang bugnaw na siya no so we are using gold oh, premium not sure, premium so the ideal slides for frozen section are charged slides no they have uh, by the name itself charged so pato so after nag partial <laughs> freeze na tong nasa na to, no freezing media pwede na ma place ato ang uh, specimen so, shout out kay Hana Hana, Pato Resident. How does she yoga? No, Bali Bali. Nasha, oh. Nasha. So, then, after, ano, after placing, kita mo ng mga hammer, kana mga kana pep, kana shaker. That's our heat transfer. Heat transfer apparatus, no? Heat transfer tool. May tabuan na, i-transfer niya tong residual heat sa imong specimen into the tool. No? So, bugnaw man kayo na siya, so ma-freeze niya, ma-facilitate niya ang freezing. Apart from that, flat man na yung surface. Kanya, para ma-even po ang, ang interface between the blade and the specimen na to. No? Ano na siya, pagbugnaw na to gamay. Na, ano ba na flat na siya? Ah, siya. Ano na siya? Ano na siya? Ara, no? So, ibutang na nato siya sa katong block na to for cutting. Then, as you can see, na i-blade yun sa tumoy. Siya, razor blade lang. And then, i-trim sa nato siya. Trim na to para ma-expose ang specimen. Cut away the excess na frozen freezing media. No? So the freezing media acts as a structural support pod. No? 
so that intact ang tissues so if you can see na expose na ang specimen na tissue ang tissue rather and then So then we can section na. Uh, once we section after trimming, we can put it on a slide na. Uh. That's the capture device na. Uh. So kato. So versus our traditional formalin fixed H and E slides no. Ang uh, ato ang frozen section will of course give the diagnosis but it is not for rapid diagnostic ano iyahang purpose the purpose not as a frozen section is to change the course of the management no so i'll talk about this more in the lecture so nabutang na nato sa slide na so mao na ni no mao na ning slide nato na prepare no mo na specimen Nya, yeah. dasuk dayo nato na sa ethyl alcohol lo. Pak ba to slow ba o? Ano dista? Ano ah, ba? Teknik teknik ba o? Pak o lang niya na ay. Mga jelly cross ba jelly cross? Ano ano? So nata steps din eh for rapid sa uh, staining sa tong H and E. So kato no. So we're just gonna follow that no. So nato kuha, rinse nato gamay. Then we're gonna leave it sa hematoxylin, no? Hematoxylin is a basic stain in a sense that it's it's ano no it's or ta sa to ang staining oh ah taka no finger technique na siya ano siyang mayu tawin na upa ako. So the fix, um, staining technique will be, of course, covered in the staining chapter. But simply put, you just stain hematoxylin for the nucleus and eosin for the cytoplasmic organelles, no? And all these other mga chemicals are just there so that ma enhance or ma clear ang mga dapat ma stain, no? ang dili dapat ma stain. So anya yada nato siya yukit. So mo na siya no after nato stain. Of course, medyo compared sa ato mga routine ng mga histopath, dinalian man gud ni siya. So, even though guapo atong pag-stain and all, um na mga instances na medyo mahugawan, pero don't unsa, don't ano, don't take it na dinan na siya maayo. Ang um, gusto lang man jud nato is makitan kung unsay naa sa slides sa specimen no. So, na siya na mount na siya. I love you. I love you. Ah, kada siya. Oh. <laughs> Oh so, mao na nito siya tong gi stain ganiha no. Tang lisuda dai mo video video pero mao na siya no. So, that was a frozen section. So, I hope you learned a lot. So, from cutting to staining to viewing in the microscope all in all, the process itself was quite fast compared to the entire process that you're gonna discuss, uh, that you discussed, no? So, but in comparison to the H&E slide, uh, the H&E slide is far superior in terms of morphology and how beautiful the staining is. It's because um, it's quite hard, especially if the diagnosis, it, the diagnosis are quite kind of not clear so we really need every edge that we have to make this as, as clear as the specimen pop as clear no so it's quite hard especially if dili guapo ang pagka process so that's what so yeah so the advantages rapid to study nerve biopsies to study enzyme histochemistry and needs continuous supervision actually our frozen the cryostat you know our frozen section machine is 24 hours on <laughs> because if you turn it off then you need to 
when you need it, you need to let it cool. It's really long before it reaches the temperature that is needed for frozen section. It's negative, it's sub zero, so it really ne needs to have a lot of, uh, it consumes a lot of time to reach a certain point, you know, the certain temperature that is ideal for frozen section. So that's why it needs to be turned on always. It's a very expensive instrument. No? So that cryostat is like one pajero. One pajero. It's very expensive. And the fixed tissue is very difficult to cut. Ah, fixed tissue kanang frozen sasha. I I rather you really need to submit for frozen section, you need to submit fresh tissue meaning no formalin, no alcohol, as is where is. That's why the this uh, the time from removal of the specimen to um, towards the histopathology section for frozen section is very crucial because ongoing um, metabolism uh, tissue, meaning there are some tissues that already undergoing apoptosis or autolysis. That's why it needs to be rapidly transported to the histopathology section. Once na frozen na siya, of course, ma-retard na po ang metabolism niya. So it really needs to be fast. So what happens is if na butangan siya of formalin or any fixative prior to the frozen section, it's really hard for it to stick to the freezing media. So the next slide. So we have multiple <laughs> lots of different microtome knives but what I want you to remember is most of the knives that we use are already disposable type. So we usually don't use katong mga knives na you need to sharpen pa because number one it's a waste uh, it's really time time dependent it's really time consuming Umbaga. so the types of knives based on shape we have the plano concave and then for the, it's very sharp and used for cutting this is what we it's the most common put the biconcave for a rocking microtome wedge i sorry the wedge is the most common shape used and tool edge so used for hard it's like a chisel the tool edge no so we have types of this based on disposability we have low profile blade to cut small vibes and high to cut firm so usually we use low profile and then we use steel and steel knives usually and the diamond knife diamond and glass knives are used to cut epoxy resins for your electron microscopy you need very hard um, embedding media um, so that em embedding media for electron microscopy because the sections are so thin you need to support that thin sections So this is the types of angles with microtomy. We have the rake angle, angle of clearance, and then the bevel angle, and the cutting edge. So these angles really dictate, um, they di dictate the quality of the sections you have and how smooth your knives, uh, your microtomes create your ribbons and if it's too high, meaning um, the angle, if the angle, one angle is too high, you might not make ribbons or it doesn't cut deep enough. Your sections might be short and uneven. So, ito. So, the disposable blade like what we use, we have low profile, so easy, no need to sharpen. So, they are not very rigid compared to your ordinary knife so some vi vibration effect may be s seen so what are these vibration effects this vi vibration effects is like um, there are shears ma shear gamay and tissue but for the most part it's quite negligible because 
Um, the newer rotary microtomes are very stable. It's one of their advantages. Even the part that attaches to the knife, it's very stable. So it's very rare to have vibration. So how do you sharpen your conventional knives? So we have our honing. So this is your honing. So you push it forward against a rough surface. So this is what you do no kung magpa hait ka ug kuchilyo. So this is what you do uh, to make the edge. Now you do th this to make the edge. So this is what you call heel to toe movement. Heel to tomoy to toe is your edge. So bevel forward. So the slab and then the stroping is the polishing and it's to remove the burr. Now this is to further sharpen the blade. So in your stroping we usually use uh, leather strop strop tawag ana um in the olden days mga kita mo sweeney tad na salida you know they they usually have a leather strop tapos sa mga barber na mga chair and then the movement is toe to heel you no know? so the heel is the back edge of the blade yeah. and then the toe is the cutting edge Next is our factors involved in cutting. So temperature, like I mentioned earlier, na kita mampud mo si Sir Jude. Iyang blocks are put in ice before attached to the microtome for cutting. And then angle of the rake. So helps in smooth flow of the ribbons. And then consistency of the tissue. A soft tissue to cut. Soft tissue is cut at a slow rate rather than hard tissue. So these are your types of kanang faults, no? What will happen? I'm not gonna one by one this because it's self-explanatory naman. So essential. So we really need our microtome with blade and water bath no? to evenly spread out our sections. We need to be to have our paraffin block embedded with tissue to cut, eye tray, blunt forces, or camel brush. A camel brush, um, in the olden days, they used camel hair, <laughs> you know, as their brush, but now we just use the brush um, um, provided by us by the ones who made the example Leica. We al always use the Leica brushes because it's provided, it's a package na mungo the microtome, blunt forceps, and then a slide rack for slides. So the flotation bath, so it should be the the water bath should be 10 degrees below the melting point of the paraffin. Kay kung init siya, matuno imong paraffin, no? So it is necessary to prevent any formation of air bubbles within the water bath. Sometimes we put detergent, and some kato sometimes we put detergent because detergent um, reduces the surface tension. So walay bubbles may tabo, no? I, and and then it lets the uh, tissue float smoothly while I tissue ah uh, hot enough. So camel hairbrush is used to clean the blade, slide rack. So we usually label the slides with a pencil because this, the pencil um the the writing <laughs> of the pencil, no the lead of the pencil can survive um decolorization and alcoholization uh, in the staining process it's quite uh the the staining process is quite mm, abrasive to pen marks my erase yun na siya yung muhang pens especially pag maabot na ka sa silin na part so kato so we use adhesive um actually getagan uh, currently we are now using those charge slides um it's a charge slide because it attaches the usually negatively charged mongo ng mga unsa tissues so it it pits <laughs> there is an attraction because the positively charged slide there is already electrostatic na forces that binds them together though it's not that strong but it's enough you know so but Usually, the 
most common adhesives that we use are Mayer's egg albumin. It's true that we still use egg albumin no? in the laboratory. We still use um, egg albumin. So, ako mga medtech, at the certain time, uh, pumukot na na silag um, adhi, um, egg. M mga brin na silag it loaded. No? <laughs> and that, uh, so, this is polyelicine. It's a good adhesive. So, what is this adhesive? This adhesive, um, you put it in the slides before you fish out the floating section. Ana, mo na siyang adhesive. And then, permanently positively charged slide. Ana. So, steps in tissue sectioning. So, we really need to trim so that the tissue is exposed. No? Because there is still a layer of paraffin on top of the tissue. And we really need to cut that off so that may expose on tissue. And then number one, it's uh, number two. It 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 evens the cutting area. Well, if it's not even, then we can't get adequate sections. So after we trim it, we cool the block. That's why I iced it sa kilid, de ba? Pag after trim ni Sir Jude, tanggal niya niya, botang niya sa kilid for ice. This will help the same consistency of the paraffin and the tissue. This helps in easy cutting. So cutting proper. So katong gibuhatan ni Sir Jude the block is fixed in the chuck of the microtome and then the cutting surface is parallel to the knife so it needs to be smooth no? so the pabili ko mag stop stop so next is kana katong fishing out katong same sa gibuhat nato ni Sir Jude um, those slides usually are already have their their ad adhesives na butang na daan, they were already applied adhesives before you fish out and sometimes kato for frozen suction we use charged charged slides so you need to dry the section after and then sometimes uh, we put it in an oven to melt the paraffin because if dili mo melt ang paraffin it will um, it will affect the staining process. Now we need to melt after the kids slide. There's still a, a paraffin layer na attached. We need to melt that paraffin because it interferes with staining. No? So that's all. Hopefully, na may natun ano. So microtomy is very straightforward. You cut, cut lang. No? And then, if you have any questions, feel free to PM me. And of course, ako exam kay sa yun lang yung kayo kay ato guni. So, good night. If you have any questions or any concerns, just PM me. Good night. God bless.